What up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about the Nike LD Waffle Sakai Clot Triple Collab in the Orange Blaze colorway. I'll show some shots on foot, give you a quick history of the waffle, and take a close look at this sneaker to cover all its little details. Believe me, there's a lot. So sit back, relax, and let's dig in. But before we do, I ask that you click the like button if you're feeling this content, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. Okay, let's go. These officially dropped on Tuesday, September 14th for the retail price of $170. This is the successor to the original LD Waffle collab with Japanese brand Sakai and its founder Chitos Abe in 2019. I believe they debuted with the Pine Green, the Green Multi, and Blue Multi, but my timeline could be way off on that. Either way, I wanted every pair but was unable to score and the prices got a little crazy in the resale market, so that was that. Since then, a bunch of Sakai waffles have been dropping. You have the Sakai Black, a few collabs with Undercover like Midnight Maroon, Midnight Spruce, and Bright Citron. You also have another collab with Clot called the Gray Navy. Then there's the Black Nylon, White Nylon, Summit White, and then the two Fragment collabs, Blue Void and Gray, which are fire, and this Clot Orange Blaze. Before we go too deep into this LD Waffle Sakai Clot Triple Collab, it's important to know where all this came from. For starters, this is a combination of two classic Nike sneakers, the Nike LDV running shoe from the late 1970s and the Waffle Racer also from the 70s. Combining the names LDV and Waffle gives you LD Waffle. All of this was made possible by a guy named Bill Bowerman. He was an American track and field coach from Oregon and one of the co-founders of Nike. In 1971, before Nike was Nike and the company was called Blue Ribbon Sports, he came up with the idea to pour urethane into his wife's waffle iron to make a sneaker sole that would grip the track better. And before you know it, the Nike waffle, or moon shoe as they originally called it, was born. That's a pretty cool story, but in recent years, the Japanese fashion brand Sakai has taken the historic waffle to another level, and I really like what they did. I love the way Sakai and Nike merged both shoes into one. It's a really interesting layered look, and if you haven't already noticed, they added double everything to represent both classic sneakers. You have the double tongue, double swoosh, these thick double laces, and the best part, this multi-layered double midsole. While this midsole is super impractical, inconvenient, and bangs into everything, it just looks so interesting to me. I don't recommend driving in these because you'll be resting the entire time on that extended heel, and that's going to grind dirt into them and wear them down. Besides little inconveniences like that, I really like the profile. So as if the Nike Sakai collab wasn't enough, they also teamed up with the Chinese brand Clot. Clot is a streetwear label and lifestyle brand founded by Edison Chen and Kevin Poon. They've been around for a minute and this is not their first Nike collab. It's not even the first one they've done in this colorway. This orange blaze is inspired by an earlier Air Max 1 collab they did called The Kiss of Death. You can see here how similar they look. They took the same colorway to the Waffle Sakai and I like it, especially for the fall season. Starting with the box, it's mostly Nike orange with the Spot UV Nike logo on the top and the classic Nike logo in white on the side of the box. It's a drawer style box with the Nike Sakai logo printed on the tissue paper. Also, each sneaker is individually rolled in tissue paper. Overall, the packaging is nothing too crazy, but definitely slightly more premium than a standard Nike box. Taking a look around the shoe, one of the first things you might notice is the transparent nylon ripstop fabric on the toe box and the beige layered suede around the edge. I'm not usually a fan of transparent sneakers, but this ripstop material feels really nice. It breathes pretty good and you can style these differently based on the socks you're wearing. Check it out. Here's a shot wearing blue and green socks and you can see how the pair changes the look of the sneaker. That's pretty cool. I doubt these will keep you sufficiently warm in the winter months, but that's not really the point. I am, however, concerned about the durability of this material being used in an area that does a lot of bending and flexing. It could end up being a problem, but time will tell if these start to sag or get misshapen after a few wears. These also came with a third pair of burgundy laces if you want to switch it up. I think down the road I might pair these darker laces with the orange ones, but for now I'll leave them the way they are. Adding two pairs of laces into this sneaker is not as easy as it looks. Around the laces you have a beige leather eyelet panel. I like this thin layer of green under the eyelet panel. It's such a small detail, but it contrasts so well with these other colors and balances well with the tongue tabs. You have an orange heel tab with triple branded Nike Sakai Clot logos combined. Check it out, this is kind of cool. The Clot icon has the letter C in it, so they replaced the Clot logo with the letter C in the word Sakai and combined all three logos into one lockup. It's a cool little touch. 
Working your way to the front of the sneaker, you have that signature LD waffle double tongue. The top tongue is burgundy with a green Nike pull tab and the retro deconstructed foam edge. The bottom tongue, however, is orange, also with the green pull tab, but this one has the Nike Sakai clot triple brand with piping around the tongue. If you look on the back of both pull tabs, you'll notice they're completely blank. I'm not used to seeing that, but I like it. So we saw that triple brand on the heel tab and on the second tongue, but it's also printed one more time, very large on both beige removable insoles. Working your way to the side of the sneaker, you have that double swoosh in that orange and burgundy. The orange swoosh has sort of a patent leather gloss with a snakeskin pattern pressed into it. This is another element they took from the Clot Air Max 1 Kiss of Death. In addition, that burgundy check under the orange tongue has a hit of 3M on it. Check out this shot in the dark. The check is reflective and turns almost pink when the light hits it. Moving down to the bottom, the outsole is a gum bottom with that iconic waffle tread. Here's another cool little touch. It looks like they added the original patent number for the LDV and Waffle Racer. That's a cool nod to those iconic sneakers from over 40 years ago. Another thing I like about this outsole is the two knobs that wrap up the front of the sneaker. You don't really notice it unless you're wearing them, but if you look down, you can see them pointing forward. I don't know why, but I like this touch, and it offers a little extra protection to the front of the sneaker. Now moving up to the midsole, you have my favorite part of this shoe, that double stacked midsole. This is so different from any other sneaker and so retro yet modern. It's hard to explain what makes these cool. I just like the way it looks. I really think Sakai crushed it with this touch. As I mentioned, it's completely impractical, but I don't care. It's cool and different and not for nothing, it's pretty comfortable. Most of this sneaker is beige, as you can see, with light touches of green, orange, and burgundy. This colorway is cool, but I could see this being difficult to put a fit together. Also, I don't know why, but as much as I like it, this color combination gives me the vibe of bowling shoes. Either way, these are fly, and I look forward to making these my fall kicks. I could even see wearing these on Thanksgiving. So in conclusion, I'm a big fan of all LD Waffle Sakai's, and with the help of Clot, I think this is one of the nicest pairs. I hope Nike continues to drop more versions of this shoe, so I have more chances to own a few pairs. They're different, retro, visually interesting, and pretty comfortable. There's a lot to like about them, and I would love to own a few more pairs. Anyway, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Please like, please subscribe, and please ring that notification bell to be notified for my next video. I would appreciate it, and it would definitely help the channel. Also, feel free to check me out on Instagram at E21Life for other random pics and stuff. Here's a few more shots. I really appreciate y'all watching, and until next time, stay safe, everyone. Peace.